There are about 66 tournaments that take place on the ATP main tour every year, all of which vary in location, surface, history, prize money, and points. The most defining piece of a good tournament, however, is the trophy. A good trophy can become synonymous with the tournament itself, and can pay tribute to the history of both the competition and the city or country it takes place in. For example, you may have noticed that there is a pineapple on top of the iconic Wimbledon trophy. This is because when the tournament began in 1877, pineapples were very expensive and hard to come by in Western Europe, and as a result were considered a major status symbol and one of the most prestigious foods you could serve. So, the All England Club, the organization that started the tournament, decided to add a pineapple to the trophy, where it remains to this day. Most trophies will generally retain a similar overall shape of either a vase, urn, plate, or bowl, but there are quite a few outliers that will buck the trend and come up with a completely different design, making for some very interesting and unique end results. So, let's take a deep dive into the stories and meanings behind some of tennis's strangest trophies. At first glance, you might mistake this sculpture for a sea urchin or a medieval weapon, but it's actually the trophy given to the winner of the Winston-Salem Open, a 250 tournament that comes right before the US Open every year. The tournament is a model of the Moravian Star, a religious symbol prominent throughout Winston-Salem's high population of Moravians, one of the oldest Protestant denominations in Christianity. The trophies are created every year by local tinsmith Michael Felk and take two days to make. The Moravian Stars were first given out in 2015 and are still being awarded to the winners to this day. In my opinion, it's a pretty unique idea, but it could have been executed better since it's pretty awkward as a trophy, and if you don't know the meaning behind it, it can seem kinda ridiculous. Next we have the Madrid Masters Trophy from 2011 to 2021. For starters, the trophy is around 17 inches tall, but weighs 16.5 pounds. This is because the trophy is made completely out of solid gold, as well as 33.33 carat diamonds, making it the most expensive tennis trophy in the world. Because of this, the winners aren't allowed to keep the original, and instead receive a 13 inch 6.6 .6 pound solid silver replica. The trophy is made up of 96 individually crafted and assembled pieces, including 32 golden tennis rackets, all of which have the name of an all-time tennis great engraved on it. At the top sits a golden tennis ball with tournament owner Eon Tidiak's name written on it. Roland D10, the trophy's designer, stated, I needed to find a design solution which honored all tennis greats equally. From McEnroe to Williams, from Federer to Nadal, and to Margaret Smith herself. Fans would also find the trophy interesting, but probably not in the way Tidiak and E10 intended. And in 2022, the tournament awarded a new trophy to the champions. Moving on to another Masters 1000 event, we have the Rookwood Cup from the Cincinnati Open. Over the course of 114 years, the tournament has had 13 different trophies, and since 2010 they have presented champions with the Rookwood Cup. Designed by Roy Robinson and made by Rookwood Pottery, the trophy is colored white, green, and burgundy, and features vines with tennis balls instead of flowers. It weighs 12 pounds and sits on a base with the names of the tournament's previous champions engraved on it. The Rookwood Cup has changed slightly over time, but has retained pretty much the same shape and details as when it was introduced. It's the only trophy made out of pottery in the Masters circuit, and easily one of the most unique. Like I mentioned earlier, many tournaments will stick to a more traditional style for their trophy, and many of the more unconventional ones are often ridiculed by fans. In fact, all three of the trophies I mentioned appeared over two Bleacher Report articles for the worst trophies of all time. Overall though, it still feels more authentic if a trophy makes its own design to honor the history or traditions of its location than if they had just copy pasted the same cup or bowl. And hopefully we will see many more interesting designs as more and more tournaments are added to the main tour. Thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.